the delegation had an opportunity to visit Putumayo and Buenaventura. Uh, in Buenaventura, in particular, the actions of the paramilitary uh, groups are inflicting a huge uh, oppression on the people of Buenaventura. Uh, there is active displacement, uh, death threats, killings in the most brutal manner in the chop houses. Uh, and there appears to be, and this, this evidence, this testimony was given to us by the people of Buenaventura and the Bishop of Buenaventura, there appears to be uh, com complicit uh, action from the state forces to allow the right-wing paramilitary groups uh, to have a huge influence in the development of Buenaventura. Uh, I think that is something that the state needs uh, to begin to tackle in a very visible way uh, to instill confidence in those people that the state is there to protect their human rights, to protect their lives, uh, and to ensure that they live free from oppression and threat. Well, both in Bogota we, we spoke to human rights activists, and in the regions where we visited, it is quite clear to us that there continues to be in Colombia a, a very substantial rate of uh, attacks on the human rights of the citizens of Colombia, either through murder, extrajudicial murder, uh, to denial of justice, uh, through displacement, uh, through denial of the trade unions to be able to organise properly and to represent workers' rights properly. Uh, this is a big challenge for the Colombian state. It should be a key part of the peace process uh, and there is clearly a huge amount of work to be done to develop proper protection of all rights for all citizens.